Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess fell asleep and took an enchanted nap. She awoke many years later and was afraid to turn over for fear of waking the members of the Yale Precision Marching Band. When the princess fell asleep, her country was peaceful and prosperous. When she awoke, people were poor and everyone was sad. Finding her trust fund empty, the princess asked herself, where can I find some money? So she set off to the house of Lehman to see if the three little Lehman brothers could help her. <laughs> The princess was aghast. She asked, Oh my goodness, what happened to my your houses? I built my house out of straw. I built my house out of sticks. And I built my house with a subprime mortgage. Cinderella, who was dressed in the usual attire for a princess. She asked Cinderella what had happened to her crown. Cinderella replied, I had to pawn it after my prince was arrested for insider trading. You know, I started out on my knees coming forward, then I married rich. But after the collapse, I had to sell the family jewels, and I wound up back on my knees again, praying for help. street corner, the princess set off once again. Next, she came across two of the seven dwarves. She asked, Hey, Happy, what happened to the other dwarves? Why are there only two of you now? Happy answered, The other five had to, their jobs outsourced to Never Never Land. The children there don't even want gold. They'll work for pixie dust. where there was plenty of money and the government had the economy completely under control. She was greeted by the welcome spectacle of photoshopped fireworks and lip-syncing children. However, she was a little puzzled by the lead-infused toys, human rights violations, and the surprising number of only children.
And so, today our princess waits in this foreign land, hoping someday to return home. But until then, she'll have to make a living like Cinderella, as an entrepreneurial lady of immorality, or ELI. Right here in the Yale 